All right, here's what we're going to create. We're going to create a three-dimensional ring with another object that is going through the ring. We start with a circle. This is going to be the uh, diameter of the three-dimensional ring. On the circle, you're going to want to set the stroke to transparent and the fill color to a solid color. Next, we will select Effect. 3D and Revolve. We're going to click Preview so you can see what we're doing here. All right, you can see it's uh, kind of looking like a squashed apple. We want that a little bit bigger, so we'll change the offset to something like that. And we will also change the blend number of blend steps. Uh, right now, if I set it lower, it's a little more obvious. Okay, so you can see how uh, this is not looking very attractive. They're very smooth, so we'll set the blend steps all the way to the top because we can, and now you have a fairly smooth appearance. Okay, and we'll click OK. Now the next thing, after we have created our 3D ring, is we're going to create an object to go through the middle of it. By the way, this 3D ring is called a torus. That is the name of that shape, the torus. All right, so let's make something go through the torus. How about the letter T? You can see when I enlarge it that the T is just kind of sitting in front of the ring. Kind of boring and lame. Let's make that red. OK, so what we need to do is create outlines. So now the T is no longer a T, but it is the shape of a T. Now the next thing, um, Illustrator doesn't really do 3D per se, so there's no way to really um, to really make it go through the ring, but we can make it look like it's going through the ring. Um, for instance, if I were to send this back, so you, it can either be behind or in front. So what we're going to do is create an additional letter T. So we're going to copy and we'll paste in front. So now we have two T's. Okay, I'll press Command Z to undo that move. So now I have two T's, and we are going to cut one of them in half by selecting the line I just created and one of the T's. I will use my Pathfinder's window here. If you don't know where to find that, it's under Window, Pathfinder. We're going to use the Divide function. Okay, so now my T is split into two parts, uh, except when I select it, I get both parts. So I will select it and choose Ungroup. Now I can either select the bottom or the top. I will select the bottom, press the Delete button, and get rid of it. So now you can see I have a top of a T, and I have a complete T. So Command Z to put that back where it was. So I'm going to take this T here, the complete T, and I'm going to move it back by selecting Object, Arrange, Send to Back. Okay, so now even it looks like the T is going through the torus, but really what you have is one T behind the torus and the top of a T in front of the torus. So Illustrator, like I said, cannot actually do three-dimensional, but you can make it look like you're doing 3D uh, by using tricks. So Finally, I want to resize this torus a little bit just to make it look different. Um, so what I want to do is go to Object, and we're going to expand the appearance. But maybe before I do that, I want to show you one thing, because sometimes with these toruses, you can get undesirable effects. And one way you can fix it is you're going to open your Appearance panel, and we'll click on this 3D Revolve effect. So I select the item that I'm working on, click on 3D Revolve, and now I can actually do, click on Preview here, is I can actually change the characteristics of that 3D effect that I put on it in the first place. So maybe we'll give this a little bit of an angle like that, make it look more interesting. Okay, get rid of this. All right, we also want to make this a little bit smaller because I just want the ring to look smaller. I'm going to go to Object, Expand Appearance. So now we have this 
object and I can resize it just like that. And of course, it depends on where I move this, but if I move it in the wrong place, you can start getting strange effects like that because now that top T is starting to show over the bottom ring. So we'll put that back where it was and make it look just like that. So there you go. That is how to create a 3D ring, also known as a torus, and uh, to put an object through it.